The Three Little Pigs, a Twin Sisters ebook, written by Eric Subin. Once upon a time, there were three little pigs. When the time came for them to leave home, their mother gathered them together and gave them a warning. Beware of the wicked wolf, she said, for he loves to eat little pigs. Who cares about an old wolf, said the first little pig, skipping away. Soon he met a man carrying a bundle of straw. Sell me some straw, said the pig. The man did. And the first little pig built himself a little straw house. Soon the wicked wolf came along. Little pig, little pig, he called. Let me come in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, cried the first little pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff. And I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. And he did. The first little pig scampered away. The second little pig met a man loaded down with sticks. Sell me some sticks, said the pig. The man did. And the pig built himself a little stick house. Soon, his first little brother ran through the door and cried, The wicked wolf is chasing me! Before long, they heard the wolf's growly voice. Little pig, little pig, he called. Let me come in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin, said the second little pig. Then I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house in. The wolf did as he said, and the two little pigs ran off together. The third little pig met a man pushing a cartload of bricks. Sell me some bricks, said the pig. With the bricks, the third little pig built himself a solid, sturdy house. Along came his two brothers, running hard and crying, The wicked wolf is after us! Soon, the three little pigs heard the wolf. Little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hair of my chinny chin chin said the third little pig. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. Well, he huffed and he puffed, but he could not blow down that solid, sturdy brick house. The wolf thought he would trick the little pig into coming outside. Little pig, he called sweetly. I know where there is an orchard full of tasty apples. Where? called the third little pig. At Farmer Brown's yard, said the wolf. Meet me at six o'clock tomorrow and I will take you there. <laughs> that little pig was up at five o'clock. By the time the wolf got to Farmer Brown's yard, the pig was sitting in a tree, munching fruit. The wolf sat beneath the tree and waited for the pig to come down. Little pig, he called. How are the apples? Try one and see, said the little pig. He threw an apple with all his might. While the wolf ran after it, the little pig jumped down and scurried home with his basket of fruit. That evening, the wolf tried again. Little pig, he called. 
Come with me to the fair at Smithtown tomorrow. I'll call for you at five o'clock. Well, that little pig was up at four o'clock. He ran to the Smithtown fair and bought himself a new butter churn. On his way home, the little pig spied the wolf angrily trudging up the hill to the fair. The little pig climbed inside his new churn and rolled down the road. Wham! The speeding churn knocked the wolf into the next county. He was never heard from again. With the sweet apples and fresh churned butter, the little pig made a pie for his brothers. And they lived in the solid, sturdy little brick house happily ever after. <laughs>